All right, all right, Luke. All right, Luke. Who, who you riding for this game? Uh, you know, I'm hoping our varsity team can do what JV and freshman couldn't do. I really want our Holy Cross varsity team to come out and win this. All right, all right. Well, we're going to watch some of it together and see how they do. Yeah, I hope they put on a show. All right. scoring affair. The defense is really the highlight of both of their games. Uh, a lot of really great steals, but they couldn't capitalize on those chances. Uh, I want to see some more of the same going into the second half. Alright, I'm going to check back with you. Yeah. Alright. Oh, uh, by the way, my guy Luke, city championship bowling player and
left to go 44 55 
I never want to say it's over till it's over, but it's not looking great. Um, we usually to make threes. We, we missed like five in a row. You know, it's really putting us at a really big disadvantage. Hopefully we can pull something together, but I'm not all too hopeful right now. Appreciate you, Lou. to today's game and how did you guys pull it out at the end? So, uh, they're, they're really good and uh, we knew they were going to be prepared for us. Uh, we knew they knew our personnel. I mean, the schools are so close and we see so much of each other. Um, I knew playing on this court for our guys, we were going to be uncomfortable. We were going to be challenged. We had to do some things that we're normally not accustomed to, um, but that's great for our guys. It just prepares us for the next day. It prepares us for the next game. It prepares us for playoff basketball, so I'm uh, really proud of our guys today. One of the things I'm impressed, uh, you know, about your coaching style is how you mix up uh, your rotations, and you know, uh, we want to first talk about uh, the freshman, that the big guy, yeah. 32. He comes in and he plays a lot of good minutes for you guys. How much confidence do you have in him? So we knew they were going to play a zone, and and O is coming along, and, and he's he's going to be such a great player. Um, and he's got to be a little patient, too, because his time is coming. Uh, it might not be right this second, but we knew he'd have such a presence against their zone. He's a big, wide body with terrific hands. He's good around the basket. Even though he missed a couple of shots, so what? He was getting the right shot. I thought O played terrific. He gave us a presence. He gave us a little bit of an inside-outside game. Traditionally, St. Francis, we don't have an inside game. It's more of an outside game. So when he gave us the inside-outside look, we were tough against his zone. When you got one of the top guys in the city in Josh Pascarelli, I think it makes it a lot easier for you. Coach. Yeah, I, uh, we've been through a lot together, Josh, over the last couple of years, and I'm, I'm starting to get a little upset because I know my time is coming short with him, and he's on to bigger and better things. But Josh has been so steady for us. Uh, he does whatever we ask him to do. If he needs to score 20 points in a game, he gets 20. If he needs to get 10 rebounds, uh, I don't know if you saw the end of the game, but he was playing the middle of our zone. Yes. Uh, you know, what kind of kid would do that? Your star player says, I'll go in there and I'll mix it up and I'll get some rebounds. And then he made two, we went to him late, uh, two straight times, he made two big shots and, and kind of iced it for us. Well, tonight he's the player of the game sure and is. I have a basketball heads hoodie for him. Okay, excellent. So you just let him know, I'll be out here waiting for him. All right, you got it, awesome. Thanks a lot, Coach. I appreciate so it. Ready, you ready? Ready? Yes. Yes. yes, 
you have you just, just... Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready?